In 2005, an actually pretty terrible movie named Stealth came out. The premise of this movie is that there was an experimental autonomous aircraft that would be a wingman to manned aircraft. Now, just 15 years later, that science fiction film has become reality in the Kratos XQ-58. So in today's episode of Aerospace Engineer Explains, I'm gonna to explain to you about this aircraft and what it means for the future of aviation. So this was developed under the Air Force Research Laboratory's contract for a low cost, attributable aircraft technology. And what does attributable mean, you may ask? I have no idea. So I looked it up and what I found was it means nothing. The military basically just made this word up. But that's totally besides the point, so let's get back to the airplane. Essentially, AFRL wanted to make a cheap, easily producible drone that would serve as a wingman to fifth generation aircraft such as the F-22 or the F-35. And the company Kratos designed a solution to meet this demand with the XQ-58 Valkyrie. And no, not that Valkyrie. This is the XQ-58 or the Valkyrie. So besides the awesomeness of having a drone wingman, what really is the point of all this? This aircraft was developed to be what's called a loyal wingman. What that means is that it can be remotely piloted by an F-22 or an F-35 pilot. And its role as a loyal wingman can include a variety of different things. The first of those things is as a surveillance aircraft. So essentially, the F-22 pilot or F-35 pilot can send this drone ahead of it to scout out an area without putting himself or herself in harm. The next role that this loyal wingman can fulfill is as a literal flying shield. For instance, if there was an F-22 flying with this loyal wingman and an enemy combatant fired a missile at the F-22, the loyal wingman could fly right into the missile to take the fire instead of the F-22. Which was one of the reasons that this contract specifically spelled out that this drone should be a low cost aircraft. Another perhaps even more obvious role that this aircraft can fulfill is its ability to deploy its own weapons in an attack role. Valkyrie has eight hard points which it can use to mount bombs and missiles to neutralize enemy targets, including enemy aircraft and other ground targets. The last major role that the Valkyrie fulfills is its ability to fly in a swarm formation. In other words, it can fly with a bunch of other drones around it to act almost as if a squadron in the air. So obviously a pilot would be able to fly his aircraft and a swarm of drones at the same time all the time. So another one of Valkyrie's abilities is that it must be able to be piloted remotely by the pilot in the lead aircraft and it must also be able to fly autonomously. Valkyrie was so successful in its test flights that the Air Force has continued this program into what's known as the low cost attributable strike demonstrator which Kratos can use the Valkyrie to compete, but it will also be competing with the likes of Boeing and General Atomics. The low cost attributable strike demonstrator is also known as the Skyboard program, which sounds eerily familiar to something I've seen. As ominous as the name of the program may sound, I'm still very excited to see what the results of this program will be, whether Kratos, Boeing, or General Atomics will win the contract, and what this will mean for the future of aviation. In previous videos, I've alluded to this technology as being an aspect of a future sixth generation. But as we can see by the Skyboard program, it may even be integrated in the fifth generations before it even gets to be integrated into the sixth generation fighter jets. In a previous video, I talked about what a fighter jet generation is and what differentiates each generation. So if you're interested in learning more about fighter jet generations, make sure you check the link both in my description and I'll link it here if you're on a browser as well. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna learn more about aerospace engineering in the future, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you'll be able to see when my new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching and Godspeed.